you're a skincare brand or you are the kind of person that likes to promote skincare product and you're always experiencing your cream turning into brown i'm giving you the secret okay it is a secret and i don't think people just come out here on youtube and just tell you this secret if your cream is turning brown like after you finish pro mixing your cream and your cream is turning brown just try and make sure you're working with welcome back to my channel this is hbm organic beauty so if you're seeing my face for the first time you're welcome here kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell below so that you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video all right so today topic i really want to discuss about a powerful topic i want to discuss with you about the power of tocopherol i hope we all know what tocopherol is tocopherol is actually your vitamin E as simple as that vitamin E so like we all know or maybe some of you don't know vitamin E could be oil soluble and it could be water soluble that is vitamin E may dissolve in water we have the one that we dissolve in water we have the one that can dissolve in oil we have the one that um, can be used for oil formulations but whichever one you have you can actually work with it except for um, using the powder on the powder on uh, could be restricted due to the kind of formula you're creating okay um, now I just want to remind you that our skincare class is ongoing so if you want to do physical skincare class with us you can come down to our office then we are going to teach you one-on-one -on -one classes also if you want to enroll for our online skincare class wherever you are in the world okay we can reach out to you so just send us a message on the whatsapp number you're seeing up on the screen let me just tell you what i need to tell you the important facts the important usage of vitamin e that you don't know okay so this video is actually for my students this video is actually for those that are not my students those that are my subscribers those that loves me okay those that keeps coming back to watch my videos and this video also is for those of you that are into pro mixing okay and that remind me due to i demand okay due to i demand i'm going to be teaching you how to do pro mixing very soon we are working on our teaching materials okay because i realize that so many of you that have done training with me in the past you're really interested to know about how you can do pro mixing okay because my class is basically natural skincare formulation i teach basically organic that we have to do the cream from scratch and believe me organic will not whiten your skin so if there's any skincare vendor out there that is selling organic cream that's whitening your skin in less than 28 days is a lie please that cream is not organic the person should just kukuma say the truth and just tell you that she's selling now Say the truth that you're selling pro mixing product nobody will kill you because we have so many people so many clients they love pro mixing product they don't even want natural okay so most of my students they are requesting for the video and due to high demand of um the tutorial i'm going to be teaching you how you can pro mix like a pro please when you're pro mix it does not mean that you have to carry 100 ingredients and point to your formulation by doing that how much do you want to sell that product how much do you want to sell the cream so when you're doing promising you don't really need unnecessary things so in this promising class that is lodging okay you're going to be learning a lot a lot so that means we are going to have natural skincare class formulation where you get to learn how to uh, uh, formulate cream from scratch and we're also going to have promising class where you get to learn how to make whitening for those of you that want to learn how to make whitening skincare products okay so let me just tell you the power of tocopherol tocopherol is a great antioxidant okay this time some people will just come to my dm they will start telling me i promix a cream and that cream uh, turned uh, brown under three days i promise a cream and the cream uh, started changing color yes the truth is that when you know how to make cream from scratch, eh? To promix is a minor case for you. That is why I usually tell my students, I don't teach you for you to come and copy my recipe because the truth is that every day I keep improving on my recipe. Every day I keep writing different recipes. So the best thing for you if you want to learn skincare formulation is for you to know how you can bring 
formula to life how you can create formula and bring them to life not you copying recipe because the truth is that if you go about copying recipe you will always want to buy recipe for the rest of your life but if you can know how to formulate knowing how to formulate how to create formulas is something that you cannot do something you cannot just now to do in one day like for years now i've been really trying to work on myself i didn't just start yesterday so when you are a product creator when you are a formula creator it's better than you just being uh, a, a person that will go about buying recipe if you can create formulas oh my god you'll be able to create any skincare product you'll be able to try you'll be able to test you'll be able to try out something new okay so the power of vitamin E, number one, a great antioxidant on your skin and even in your formulation. That means it prevents your formulation from um, oxidizing, turning into brown. But you just have to know at what uh, quantity, percentage usage rate you, you must use them at, okay? So, vitamin E also is a, is a good skin moisturizer. It's, you can use it for your uh, pink lips balm. It makes your uh, lips smooth and um and fluffy and soft you understand it's also acne scarring it's also good for anti-aging and wrinkles on the skin i call it treatment oil because it's it really have an important powerful role it actually plays in your formulation number one factor to be considered when using alpha tocopherol which is called your vitamin e is you have to know where you're buying your tocopherol from take for an example i bought some uh, tocopherol this is one liter of tocopherol okay and this is another one liter of tocopherol but the price difference of these two vitamin e is in fact is over much i bought this one this one is pure tocopherol alpha tocopherol which is called your vitamin e i bought this one for 38,000 naira for one liter. Then I bought this one for 4,000 naira for one liter. Then I, I, I actually made a formulation. I made a cream and I used this. Okay, I just want to try um, the originality, the purity of the vitamin E. I made a cream which I know is going to oxidize if I did not add original vitamin E. So I had to test this vitamin e in the cream and i also added this bit and i also added this vitamin e but the cream i added this vitamin e oxidized it oxidized within the third day but this one is still intact the color of the cream i formulated remained intact when i use this original uh tocopherol okay so when you're buying fake uh ingredients please do not expect your cream to come out well because the number one thing that kills your formulation especially those of you that are uh, making natural uh, skincare formulation especially those of you that like making um, natural lightning uh, body milk and you use fake alpha booty you use fake uh, same white powder or use fake sepi white powder you're using all the powders you use is fake it will not lighten it's not like this natural powder does not light but when you don't get the pure ones they will not work okay so make sure you're buying your vitamin e from um the right source make sure you buy the right um tocopherol okay do not buy fake when you buy fake your vitamin e will not work it will not do um the work you want it to do in your formulation so number two factors to be considered is the usage rate percentage usage rate of the tocopherol you're using i believe i say as a skincare formulator or somebody that makes cream you should be able to know the a particular usage rate of tocopherol you're to add into your formulation if you know you're making um a particular quantity of cream you should be able to uh um, you should be able to determine the quantity of vitamin e that we go into your production so number three factors to be considered is to consider the uh, solubility of the vitamin e you want to use for your formulation 
Um, what I'm trying to say is that we have to call ferro that that is water soluble and we have the one that is oil soluble. That is, we have the one that dissolves in water and we have the one that dissolves in oil easily. Okay, so now it's not as if you cannot work with the uh, uh, tocopherol oil that is vitamin E oil to me I still find it like the easiest one you have to work with but you just have to know when to add it into your formulation that is why re you really need to have the understanding of a proper formulation and that's why I keep on saying it that if you're able to know how you can make product from scratch then promixing is minor to you now you cannot go and add a water soluble tocopherol into um, let's say your glow oil. No, it 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 will not dissolve. It will not come out well. So you have to consider this fact. Your vitamin E solubility. If it um if it can dissolve in water or if it can dissolve in oil, according to what you are producing. So the overall important factor I want you to know is that vitamin E, like I said initially, is a great antioxidant. If you're making promixing, if you're the type that does promixing, you promix skincare products, please, when you're promixing, endeavor to add vitamin E into your formulation. And please, you cannot start asking me what quantity because I don't actually know the uh, size of uh, the products or uh, the cream you want to promise together but i'm just telling you please have ideas of your ingredient before you just uh, use them if you're a skincare brand or you are the kind of person that likes to promise skincare product and you're always experiencing your cream turning into brown i'm giving you the secret okay it is a secret and i don't think people just come out here on youtube and just tell you this secret if your cream is turning brown, like after you finish promixing your cream and your cream is turning brown, just try and make sure you're working with tocopherol. When you had original tocopherol, which is your vitamin E, your cream will not go brown, okay? So that is it for the power of tocopherol. That is your vitamin E. And I'll see you in my next video. Do not forget to subscribe turn on your notification bell and follow us on our instagram page at hbm underscore organics okay thank you and see you in my next video bye